Brothers and sisters, hearing of your faith in the Lord Jesus and of your love for all the holy ones, I do not cease giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe, in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named not only in this age but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. From the Gospel according to Luke Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others the Son of Man will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. Everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they take you before synagogues and before rulers and authorities, do not worry about how or what your defense will be or about what you are to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that moment what you should say. Gesù guariva molti malati e loro vogliono far credere Jesus healed many sick people and the scribes wanted to make others believe that he did so not with the spirit of God as Jesus did but with that of the evil one with the power of the devil Jesus reacted with firm and clear words he did not tolerate this because those scribes perhaps without realizing it, were falling into the greatest sin, denying and blaspheming against God's love which is present and active in Jesus. And blasphemy, the sin against the Holy Spirit, is the one unforgivable sin, as Jesus said, because it comes from closing the heart to God's mercy which acts in Jesus. But this episode contains an admonishment which is useful to all of us. Indeed, it can happen that deep envy of a person's goodness and good works can drive one to falsely accuse him or her. Here there is true, lethal poison. The malice with which, in a premeditated manner, one wants to destroy the good reputation of the other. May God free us from this terrible temptation.